Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this particular video, we will talk about confidence interval. I hope that until so far, you already have seen my previous videos, where in the very last session, I have talked about the central limit theorem, CLT. And I told you that's the part one phase of stats where we have covered up the, I would say, easy to moderate level statistics, which is very much necess necessary for data science projects, right? The knowledge, wh whatever I am sharing here in stats playlist, I would say all these things are the preliminary things which are very, very important for you all in order to, you know, jump into data science projects. So let's get started with the today's agenda, confidence interval. So how this particular term came into picture? And what is the meaning of that? We will try to understand this much thing in the in this particular video. So try to watch this video till the end. And I'm pretty sure that you will be easily able to understand the internal meaning behind confidence interval. I have seen a lot of students who are really afraid of this topic and the upcoming one regarding the hypothesis testing and the p-value. I'm not sure why. But I'll try to convey these topics in such a way that you will be easily able to, you know, clarify all your doubts that you have. And still, if there is something just coming up in your head as a doubt, please to write your things in the comment section so that I'll, I'll respond it as soon as possible. And you will be able to clarify all your doubts which you have. That is the only platform as of now which I have where I can, you know, interact with you all. I can clarify your doubts. So please do mention your concerns in the comment section of the video. Now let's get started. What was the, uh, if you remember in the very starting of the video of the stats, we have talked about the concept of population versus sample. Do you remember that? And I have told you that we usually try to deal with the sample data. We will try to estimate what is the sample mean, what is the sample variance, and whatsoever conclusions we got with respect to the sample, we see the same conclusion with respect to the population as well. This is how things turn, right? In the upcoming videos, when I will talk about hypothesis testing, again, same thing I'll say that we are doing some sort of experiments on sample data and whatsoever conclusions we will make for the sample data, the same conclusion I'll say for the population one. That is why sample is designed. What is sample? It's a subset of the population data that we have. Now, the question is that the point estimates which we calculate, for example, sample mean, for example, sample variance, it's for sure depending on the particular selected sample that we are selecting with whatsoever sampling technique you are applying. For example, if you are applying a random sampling, you are selecting a particular random samples that you have and which sample you are selecting depending upon that thing, you are trying to estimate what is sample mean or what is sample variance. Makes sense. Now, what is the problem here? This is the situation that we usually do. The problem is that do we have any parameter to determine that how confident I am that whatsoever sample mean I have evaluated is close to the population mean? Because that is what we want, right? We want our sample parameters or the sample statistics values to be close to the population parameters then only we can draw a, you know, correct conclusion about the complete population that we have. So the question here, which I'm asking from you all, do you think, is there a parameter? Is there a way with the help of which I will be able to determine that the sample mean which I'm calculating here is closest somehow with respect to the population mean? Can we be confident that sample mean is close to the population mean? And here I'm talking not, not only about the mean, you can talk about sample variance, you, you can talk about sample proportion. Is there a way? Because the statistics that we are calculating for the sample part, it should be closer to the population part in order to draw a correct conclusions. Make sense? So the question here is, do we have any way to determine how close the sample statistic is to the population parameter? Yes or no? Before watching this video up uh, you know in the upcoming part just pause it and give me the response that what do you think 
is there a way is there is there some parameter so when researchers initially you know talk about population sample that they have this question that okay we will be having the sample mean and accordingly we are drawing a conclusions for the population mean but how confident we are for that particular part and that's where the origin of this concept came into picture so what we did here rather than focusing on the point estimates that is what is a sample mean what is a sample proportion what is a sample variance and how much is that values closest to the population mean or population proportion or population variance what we try to do we try to find an interval of values that can be really confident which contains the actual unknown population parameters so what we try to do here is that we try to find out the lower and upper values of a range interval means range so what we are trying here we are trying to find out a specific range where i can say that okay with this specific range i am confident enough by giving some number for example i am saying 95% so i am 95% confident within within that specific range about the population mean right population will mean will fall under this specific range only so rather than focusing on with just specific point estimates we are now coming up with a specific range or specific interval and that interval is what we are referring as a confidence interval here now in this video the objective is to clarify your doubt with respect to the meaning internal intuition behind the origin of this confidence interval and i know that only theory will not work right in the next upcoming video i will try to demonstrate you the same concept using some numerical example but before coming with that example i just want to talk about the internal intuition behind that that's why i came up with this video first and in the upcoming video you will see a lot of several numerical examples where we will try to calculate the confidence interval where we will try to see the interpretation of those confidence intervals so if suppose someone will say that confidence level is 95% it simply indicates that we can be 95% confident here that confidence that the, that the population mean will fall between that lower and upper value so we always talk about a range now that okay if someone is saying it's 95% it's 90% it's 99% it means that that person is saying that within that specific range the population mean or population variance whatever parameter he or she is talking about lies okay so now we are not focusing on the on the you know exact point estimate we are focusing on the interval of values right that is why the origin of this concept of confidence interval came into picture so i hope now you got an idea that what's the situation what's the problem that we faced and what's the solution of that particular problem that is the real idea behind this video i hope that whatsoever things were coming up in the stats playlist everything is pretty much clear until so far if you still have any sort any sort of confusion do let me know in the comment section and uh, you know a few few days back only i was looking into my stats uh, of my youtube channel right it's very important to see that as well so what i have found out that almost 50% of the audience is you know loving the content which i am delivering here on the on my youtube channel but still they are not subscribing to my channel this this is really disheartening you know uh, when we are talking about educational content the you all know right the uh, approach is quite low as comparable to the vlogging channels and other channels but here i am trying to deliver the quality content so that it will be reachable to many students and that is not feasible without your support so please do subscribe my channel okay uh, hit a uh, bell notification icon and do like my video if you really think that this particular videos are of quality content and you will be easily able to understand the concepts which i am delivering here with respect to data science as well as dsa and as well as other experiences also which i usually share uh, you know uh, with respect to other face videos so with this let's end this video happy learning to all bye bye everyone and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video